Hi, I'm Greg from RV Haulers. It's a Kenworth. In this video, I'm going to show you this Kenworth T680 that's going through the shop right now that's going to convert it into an RV hauler. And stand by. I'm going to show you what's hidden underneath the hood. Join me in this video. This model is the Kenworth T680 and it is a 2019 and it only has about 60,000 miles on the odometer. And what Marcel is planning to use this RV hauler for is commercially to pull new RVs out of Indiana all over North America. So we are installing three kinds of hitches on this RV hauler. We're going to be putting in the air cushioning comfort ride hitch, a gooseneck hitch, and a bumper pull. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what's happening out back. So as I said, we just brought this RV hauler, this Kenworth, into the shop a few days ago. And we're right in the midst of converting him to a single rear axle. So you can see, we've just we removed both of the axles. We removed all of the commercial equipment off the back of this truck. So we pulled this axle out. We got the power divider axle, the one that used to be here, removed as well. And by the end of the day yesterday, we just got this guy rolled back in. So we've yet to uh, mount him up into the frame. But that's going to be our next step. So our goal is we're going to be installing an ET senior hitch in here down in between the frame rails so that the hitch comes to the proper ride height. We're also going to be installing a steel, additional steel plate across the back and a gooseneck ball, a 2 and 5 sixteenths. And thirdly, we're going to be installing a bumper pull down here with a 2 and a half inch receiver so Marcel's going to be able to tow every single type of trailer that's thrown at him. What an absolute dream to work on. Certainly being a 2019 under warranty, this truck is going to be able to tow many, many, many years for Marcel. He's also looking forward to being able to use it for his personal reasons, to be able to tow his own RV trailers or boat trailers or what have you. What's attractive about this solution versus the traditional one ton pickup trucks that you tend to see on the road is of course, Marcel's going to be able to get amazing fuel economy He's going to be carrying more than well over 2,000 miles worth of fuel on board. So he's going to be able to buy his fuel at the less expensive locations. He can do his analysis, you know, Gas Buddy, some of those online applications, and he can see what kind of gas prices or fuel prices, diesel prices, are on his route, and he'll be able to plan where to get the least expensive fuel. In this business of commercially or professionally hauling RVs, the key to success is fuel. The other thing that Marcel is excited about is being able to maximize his hours per day. So with a large shack or sleeper like this, he's taking along good quality food. He's got a really nice place to sleep, but he can also get a full log book, a full day in of hours. When you're working with some of the pickup trucks, occasionally you got to stop sooner than you need to. You got to stop for fuel quite often. You can't carry quite as much. But also, sometimes if you want to get a good night's rest, you're stopping at a motel. Well, it's like having a mini motorhome in behind you. These things are des designed to treat the drivers with kid gloves. So you can drive many hours a day and not feel exhausted at the end of your route. Before I show you what's under the hood, let me take you inside the sleeper and show you the interior configuration of this T680. Oh, I wish YouTube was scratch and sniff because with only 60,000 miles on the odometer, it smells new. Beautiful in here. Let me turn the camera around and show you the driver position. Starting with beautiful Bomag Air Ride leather seats. We've got a really well thought out dash. All kinds of electronic notifications are shown on both of these displays. But a really well thought out cluster 
and switch positions. Everything is close within reach. All of your cruise stereo functions are on the steering wheel. There's nice storage overhead. There's our CB radio. Some of the extra things we're going to be adding to this Kenworth T680 is designed specifically for our RV hauler use. We're going to be putting or installing a camera system right here on the dash. So we'll have a camera monitoring the hitch. Of course, without a back window, it's a little bit more of a challenge to hook up to a trailer when you can't see back there. So we'll have a hitch camera placed here. Uh, Marcel is going to be going with a true proportional brake controller as well. So we'll be integrating an air over electric brake controller system to have nice control over the, those trailers out back. Swinging the camera around back. We've got a really nice table that swings out, a place to be able to do your log, log work or any of your paperwork. Marcel's going to be installing his own TV on that slide out arm. And up here above it, right behind the passenger seat, is where he's going to be putting his microwave. Got a really spacious bunk up top. And Marcel plans to travel long distances, so he's going to appreciate that pull-out refrigerator down below. Let me show you how that one works. So lots of room there for your snacks and food and the freezer compartments above. Closed cabinet is here behind the driver's seat. There's a fair amount of storage behind the passenger seat in some storage cubbies down below. And the table can be stowed in two positions, so we can swing it out and lock it in this position as well, so you can sit facing forward out your front window if you wanted to have your, your meal sitting here. Before I show you what's underneath that hood, I have an invitation for you. If you have any questions about what we build at RV Haulers or if queries about what you'd like to see in these YouTube videos, please post those questions or comments down below here in YouTube. The other invitation I have for you is if you'd like to follow this build and see the subsequent videos of us converting this into an RV hauler, click on that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell because you'll get a reminder when I post the next videos. Let's go look forward under the hood. So what we are really delighted to see is that gorgeous power plant. Cummins X15 coupled with the auto shift transmission so no clutch on the floor really fuel efficient and amazing horsepower Marcel's gonna love this well thanks for joining me along on this introduction to the RV hauler Marcel has named Wheeler if you have any questions post them down below but what I'm also gonna do is here on the screen I'm gonna put up another video or two if you're interested in seeing some of the other work that we're doing at RV Haulers or some of our past work, I'll have them accessible here. Thank you for watching our video.